All right, we're going to start on a new topic. Um, no more surface area. We might come back to it at some point, but let's go to uh, mean, median, mode, all that stuff. Okay, so today the, the learning target is all about the mean, finding the mean of a set of data. Um, you might have lots of things you want to know the mean. The key here is you need to remember that mean equals average. If someone says, could you find the, the mean of something? It's just saying, can you find the average of it? What's the average? So um, we're going to do that for a few. I'm sure you had this in fifth grade. Hopefully you'll remember um, how to do this. So let me uh, guide you through a couple, and then uh, we'll go from there. So this one, the dot plot shows the number of beads sold. So we have a dot plot here, and it shows the number of beads sold. Find the mead number of beads. Okay, so on day one, we sold five. On day two, we sold seven, seven, seven. So I'm going to add seven plus seven plus seven. And on this time, we sold eight and eight plus eight plus eight. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dots, and we should have one, six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's important because how you, what you do at the end. Now, using a calculator would be okay on this. Um, you're just going to add up all of these numbers. Five plus seven plus seven plus seven. Okay, plus eight, plus eight. And that equals 42. Now that's the total, but if I want the average, I have to count how many I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. There were six points. So I take my total, 42, oh geez, 42, and I divide it by the number that I had, which was six of them. And when I do that, I get seven. Now, you think about it, that makes sense. You have one that's a five, you have a few that are a seven, you have a couple that eight. So you can kind of see how the average will be about this seven. So it makes sense. Um, you know, a couple times it was more than seven, once it was lower. So about the average is this seven here. So you just take all the points, you add up all those individual numbers, and you divide by the number of numbers you had. Okay, let's do another one. All right, we have here a word problem, and it's going to be a little different. We're going to incorporate algebra in this one. you got to remember algebra to do this stuff. Okay, so we first read the question, and it says... The table shows the greatest depths of four of the five oceans. The average depth, okay, see the average is 8.094. What is the greatest depth of the southern? Here, we don't know what this is, so this is going to be a variable. I'm going to make it an S. We know that to find the average, we're going to add all the individual ones up. We add all those together and then divide by however number there are. And there is one, two, three, four, five. So let's put this into an equation. We have 10.92 plus 9.22 plus 7.46 plus 5.63 plus S. And if we divide that by five, that's going to get me this average, 8.094. So we know that we can add all of these together. So let's add all these together, 
and see what we get. 10.92, and we're doing this very carefully. We want to be precise. Plus 9.22 plus 7.46 plus 5.63 equals. So those equal 33.23. I still have this plus s, plus s, because I don't know what that is. I divide all that by 5. That's going to get me 8.094. So let's get rid of this 5 right here. And the way you get rid of it, you remember from algebra, if it's divided by 5, you do the opposite. And you got to do it to both sides of the equation. Okay, so when we do that, these cancel each other out. It leaves me with 33.23 plus S equals, then I gotta go 8.094 times five equals 40.47. Now, I want this S all by itself. I want this S all by itself so I got to get rid of this right here. And if I have a positive 33.23, the way you get rid of it is you subtract 33.23. And I have to subtract it from each side to keep it equal. 0.23. If I do that, this cancels, gives me S equals... 40.47 minus 33.23 equals 7.24. So, this right here is 7.24. And I could check that by adding all these numbers up and dividing by 5, and that should get me this average. Okay? That's a tricky one, a little algebra, many steps, okay? All right, let's go on. All right, now I have, uh, I think I have four problems here. Let's play a little game. Uh, pause the video right here, and you find the mean, or the average, of this, uh, these test scores, and then write it down, and then you can unpause it. The video, watch it, and see if you and I get the same thing. Okay? Okay, hopefully you have your answer. So I'm going to do this one. And I see that I have um, this score, this score. So that's 87 plus 93. And then I'm going to add this score, 86. And then I'm going to add this score, plus 90. And then I'm going to add this score, plus 84. All right, so I add all those together. 87 plus 93 plus 86 plus 90 plus 84 equals 440. Okay, so all those scores together go 440. How many scores were there? One, two, three, four, five. So if I divide this by five, I will get my average score or my mean. Okay, so let's do 440 divided by five equals 88. There is your average score, which makes sense. Three scores in the 80s, two in the 90s, this one is almost in the 80, so it makes sense that the average is going to be about 80. Okay? Hopefully you did okay on that one. Here's another one. Let's do this one. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video, figure it out, and come back. Okay. Hopefully you got your answer. I see there's one, two... Three, four, five, six points. So I'm going to set this six over here just for a minute. And i got to get each of the points. Each dot 
equals a value. This first stat is 12, plus the next one is 12, plus the next one, 14, plus 15, plus 15, plus 16. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I got all six numbers. Now I add those up. 12 plus 12 plus 14 plus 15 plus 15 plus 16. And that gets me 84. That's my total, but I want the average, so I'm going to divide it by the number of dots on the plot, which is 6. So I divide that by 6. And then 84 divided by 6 equals 14. And that's my average. I'm just going to look to make sure that makes sense. We have a couple here in the 15. We have 114. Okay, and then we have one a little higher, a couple a little lower. So the average should be somewhere in there. And it is. Okay. Hopefully you got that one right. I got two more. Okay, this is a money one. So pause the video, try it, and then uh, come back. All right, we have babysitting. Jamila babysat nine times. She earned 15, 20, 10, 12, 20, 16, 80, and 18 for eight babysitting jobs. How much did she earn the ninth time if the mean of the data set is 24. Okay, so we have 15 plus 20 plus 10 plus 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 80 plus 18. It's asking, how much did she earn in the ninth time? Let's see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus, um, we'll make this an N for the ninth one. And we know the average, it says, is 24. 24, but we have to divide all of this by... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times. Okay? Alright, so let's add these up. 15 plus 20 plus 10 plus 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 80 plus 18 equals 191 plus that ninth time, which we don't know what she earned, divided by nine is gonna give me the average or the mean, 24. Okay, so I wanna get rid of this nine. So it's divided by nine, so times nine, times nine. Those cancel, 191 plus N equals 24 times nine. 216. Now, I want to get this n by itself. If I have 191 here, the way I get rid of it is subtract 191. Subtract 191. And it gives me n, the ninth time, equals 91, equals $25. So how much did she earn on that ninth job? She earned $25. Hopefully that makes sense. You do it as an equation, you solve it, and you're good to go. Okay, one last one. All right, this is a fun one. It's a two-stepper, part A, part B. Okay, we got cranes and panthers. Um, let's see which team was better by finding the mean. Okay. So we have to find the mean for the cranes and the mean for the panthers. It's seasons and winds. Um, I can see I'll do the cranes in red. So we have six seasons here, and here are all the winds. So let's add all the winds, and we'd say 80, 38 plus 42 plus 31 
plus 50 plus 31 plus 48. Now, they had a total of 240 wins in six seasons. So let's do 240 wins divided by six seasons, and that will get me how many wins they averaged per season. So the mean, or the average, is 40 wins, which makes sense. They had a 30 here, a 30 here, 30 here, then a 50 here, a high 40 here, another 40. Yeah, it's going to be around the 40s. They had a few more 30s, so it might be close to 30, which 40 is close to 30. Okay. Now, we have to do the same six seasons and the number of wins. I'm going to look at this one, and I'm going to see if I can kind of figure it out without adding it all up. Let's see, I have a 36, then I have a 42, 40, 40, 42, 40. I'm going to say this is going to be right around 40, because we have all these 40s. Oops. Um, and this 36 pulls it down a little bit. But let's figure it out. Let's add it up. 36 plus 42 plus 40 plus 40 plus 42 plus 40. Okay, that equals 240. Oh, they had the same number of wins. So I know, since I just did that, the mean for the Panthers is 40 wins over the last, 40 wins a season over six seasons. So that answers this question here. Cranes had 40, the average is 40, and the Panthers average is 40. So they exactly the same amount averaged. Now, let's look at B. This is an interesting question. Based on your answers for part A, is the mean a good measure for determining which team has the better record? Explain. Um, it's not really a good way because both have the same record. The average is 40 for both. Now, you could say at times this 51 season was much better. The Cranes were better than the Panthers. They only had 40. Um, and they have a 31 here, which is lower than any of these. So then you could say, oh, the Panthers are better. Well, you can't really answer this question. So I think it's a big old no. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you a worksheet of bowling scores. And uh, it has, sometimes it has two bowling school scores, maybe three. Um, and you can find the average for me. The worksheet is... Uh, in a screenshot, so you click on that, bring it up. On a separate sheet of paper, you will do the, I think there's A, B, C, D, E, F. I think there's six problems, so you'll do the A through F, the problems. And uh, once you get the answers, you'll go into the Google form. You'll enter the answers for A, the answer for B, the answer for C, etc., And then you'll submit the form, okay? Um, I found this sheet because it was interesting. Um, since we've been on shelter in place, we got our Wii back out and we were doing some Wii bowling and, uh, it's kind of fun to bowl some games and then see what your average is or see what your mean is. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions.